New research concludes people who consume too much added sugar can increase their risk of dying from heart disease. The study was published today in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Cass Rusi has more on what it found. It's hard to resist something that looks so good and tastes so scrumptious. If I was eating 10 a day, I'd probably be in trouble, and I don't, I don't, I don't encourage anyone to do that. Sound advice because new American research that looked at sugar in U.S. diets concludes that eating too much added sugar isn't just linked to obesity. That's already well known. It's also an independent health risk factor for heart disease. Just what we put in grandma's cookies uh, might actually, in large doses, be a real hazard to health. Researchers suggest that you're increasing your risk of heart disease if your sugar intake is more than 15% of your daily calories in a 2,000 calorie daily diet. That's the amount of sugar in a typical bottle of pop. Michael Moss is an American author who's written about the processed food industry. Now proponents of sugar taxes and sugar controls have a new arrow in their quiver and it's this linkage to deadly heart disease. So how do you know how much is too much? That's a tough one it seems. Sugar is hidden in 77 percent of packaged foods. Foods that taste savory. Breads, bagels, ketchup, barbecue sauce. Unlike salt, there are no clear Canadian guidelines, except for a suggestion from Health Canada to limit foods high in sugar. It's strange because the World Health Organization and the American Heart Association seem to think there's plenty of evidence to make recommendations, but yet Health Canada has not. The Canadian Institute, which represents manufacturers here, say that we consume about one-third less sugar than our American counterparts, so it maintains that the results of this American research doesn't apply here. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.